Hello everyone. Today we're going to cover a Teams to Teams demo setup and quick project walkthrough. First, we're going to create a new project within Migration Lens. We're going to select a collaboration project and we're going to give the project a name. We're going to select our customer and then our endpoints. For the source endpoint, we have created a source endpoint here with the user and password, as well as for the destination endpoint. Now it's important to note that when you're creating a destination and source endpoint for Teams, it requires a two-step process. This would be for enabling app-based authentication, which would be the Teams read only or full control app, as well as creating a security group for example purposes, I'm going to toggle over to the Office 365 Admin Center and show you that security group. Here you can see Migration Wiz is a security group that I have created. Now as the endpoint, you just need to add a member to that security group. You can see here I have my Wonder Woman account added as a member and that is the endpoint information I'm using for this team's destination, the Wonder Woman account. Now it does not have to be an admin, it just has to be a member of that group. So once you've done that on the source and destination endpoints, you can hit save. We're going to go to a project summary. You can see here it supports conversations, teams permissions, documents, document permissions, teams creations, and OneNote tabs. Also directly linked here would be our knowledge management site that links KBs directly towards uh, relevant projects. This is the Teams to Teams migration guideline, which will provide you step-by-step -step guidance of what I'm going to quickly walk you through here, as well as any uh, frequently asked questions along the Teams migration scenario. We're going to hit save project and go to the next step. Here we're going to add our teams for the project as line items. This is done on a teams basis. So each line item will be an actual team within the source tenant and destination tenant. The easiest way to do this is through auto discover items. We're going to go ahead and click the start auto discover. As it discovers these items, they will actually pop in over here. Once completely discovered, it will give you an import option and you can import those into the project. I already have those imported into another project, so I'm going to show you what that looks like here. You can see here that it has discovered 11 items. I'm going to click import and it will add those line items here within the project. Now, by default, those items are added for source and destination. If you need to do a quick mail uh, rename for the teams, you can do that by hitting the edit pencil and relabeling that here. Outside of that, it's going to assume you want the same name on the source and destination. So let's quickly cover what kicking off a team's migration looks like. We're going to select a team here. We're going to click full migration and the first pass that you want to migrate will be the setting up teams pass. So you can see here it's checked by default setting up teams. It creates the teams on the destination. This needs to be run first. This is a scaffolding pass. Once that pass completes, you have the ability to run the migrate data pass. This can be done in multiple scenarios. If you want to just do a documents and conversations, you can do that and then come back in a third pass and do the team's permissions and the document permissions and OneNote tabs. This is generally recommended if you have a large team's environment so that you can break that data pass up. Once those passes are completed, you should have a fully populated destination tenant for migration scenarios of any of that data that's been migrated. Here's a quick pop over of a destination tenant and what that looks like as far as conversation history being rehydrated. You can see here the conversation is rehydrated. Anything older than 60 conversation threads is going to be deposited here in the conversation history. And then as far as the OneNotes and OneNote tabs go, those have been brought over for this particular team. You have your sales OneNote here with the information pulled from the source, even screenshots, as well as the other OneNote tab. So this is a quick overview of a team's setup project. Thank you for your time.